Prepare and launch business activity statement with zero file. Before starting the lodgement process, you must have a valid subscription account with GovReports and Xero. Bass report must be published in Xero ready for import and lodgement. So when you log into GovReports and arrive at the dashboard, you can now enter the client's name on the search bar and click on the client's name to select the client to arrive at the, the client's profile page. When you get to here, click on forms, select activity statement, enter the date range of the reporting period. You can put in the exact date or simply put in this wider range and GovReport will list out all the activity statements issued by the ATO during that period and you can select the, the correct activity statement that you want to work on. You now have an option to choose how you enter the data. In this case, we're going to connect to zero. Now, if you have previously used GovReports for lodgements of uh, your clients from zero, you will not need to re-enter the username and password again. So we'll now publish the report. Click next. You now have not only the pre-filling from the ATO, which is the document ID, the accounting method and reporting date, reporting date that is um, recorded in the ATO, review the information and also review the information that has been imported by Xero. Any changes, you can just go into, straight into the field and enter the, the correct information. If you're happy with everything, put in the date that you want to make this declarations on the, the report. This is your own as an agent signature or declarations that you need to be paired. Click next. Now at the launch and the save and launch sections, you have four to five options depending on your account with Gov Reports. You can save as a draft, which means that it's an incomplete. You might want to come back to it and enter the correct details or all the details that you might not have at, at the time that you prepare this report. Or you can pre launch which means that it is only will only test with the ATO but will not save the data. On the other hand, if you want to click save and validate, which means that it will save and validate the reports and checking for errors before giving you the status of the report. It, or if you do have digital signature, you can save, validate and send for signature. Otherwise, if you do have the client's authorizations already and you want to directly lodge from here, you can also do so. For this particular demo, I'm going to save and validate. If there's error, it would let you know that you need to correct the errors. If there's no error, it takes you straight to the save report. This is the report that we just or I just um, created uh, and save and validated earlier. It's the lodgement period is confirmed and the queue date, which is the date that I just the today's date and the time that I, I queue it up. And of course, the status is valid. If it's valid, it means it's it's error free or it's basically there's no errors to, to be corrected. But if it's draft, it means that you need it cannot be lodged. It, it's it's due in a draft status. You can click on that the reports to open up the report. Go to the report profile from here. Report give you the options to download versions of, of the activity statements. Or if you want to click on email and that will give you an options to email it to whoever that needs to review the report. It could be yourself and then you forward to your clients or it could be the clients directly based on the client's profile that you have in GovReports or anyone else. Now, if you have email set up in GovReports properly, it will be sent from your email address and with your email signature and the report is attached to it. If you already have the client's authorizations to launch a report, you can now tick to select it and launch it. Once it's being lodged, the report is no longer in your save report. It will now in transition between the lodge and the save report. So if there's any issues, if ATO reject the activity statement for whatever reasons, it will go back to your save report. But if it's lodged through, it will soon come to the, your today's lodgement and of course the lodge reports. You can check it by going to back to the client's profile as well. And it will also be in the lodge sections of the client's profile. At this stage, it might not have come through. It will take a few minutes. Okay. Once it's come through, you can see the lodgement on your today's lodgement. You can click onto that to go to the, the lodge reports profile. The lodge, you can see the lodgement receipts with the, the timestamps when it hits each of the, the government agency. There's four agencies there. 
and you can click on the reports to print out the report that has been loaded, the actual report, or email to your clients not only with the actual report, the lodgement receipts, and also the payment options as well. If you got access to the Office Manager or CLM, you can generate the invoice for your work and of course access to the payment options separately if you want to have that as a downloaded version.